You've done tons of fast. Do you feel it brings you closer to God? I'm God. you God. Hmm. See, I can't answer that. Mm -hmm. I said God means power. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Power. Sure you feel power. Mm -hmm. hmm? So what are the benefits of a fast? Huh? What are the benefits of a fast? Let me answer, ask me that on the... Yeah, it's wrong. Oh, okay. You don't fast to make bad people good people. You fast to create a positive energy force where other forces can gather. The word fast means to abstain from. So if you drinking water, you're on a water diet. That's not a fast. You drinking fruit juice, you're on a fruit juice diet. When you take nothing, when you talk about the story of Jesus and them, that's 40 days on just breathing. I never understood why Gandhi got so much play he as long as he fasted well, 13 days. I didn't realize that's 13 days with nothing. You know, just breathing. And then everything in the body changes, you know. The universe takes over. And uh, the people who know more than anybody else is the Church of God in Christ. See, I always thought you had to go X amount of days taking juice to get ready for a fair. <laughs> And they go from eating dinner to a fast. And when they break their fast, they go right back to the pork chops and nothing happens to them. <laughs> but also it heals, it heals, it cleans. See, once you go on a fast, the body starts consuming itself. So if you took a comb and combed your hair, what are the hairs going to come out in the comb, the weak ones or the strong ones? Mm. The weak ones. Okay, so if you have cancer, when you go on the fast, it start eating up on. That's how you heal. The day you was here, if you just assume when the universe invented this planet, it hadn't been back. So if it wasn't here then, then it's supposed to be here now. If it's here now, it wasn't made by the universe. No. Just had a hell of a story the other day that. The, the third cause of death in America, one is uh, heart condition, cancer, and doctors making a mistake. Is that, is that kind of incredible, man? Mm -hmm. Is that part? <laughs> it's deep. Yeah, and so that's what fasting. What, what got you into fasting? A woman named Dr. Fulton, probably the number one faster on the planet. She's dead now, but uh, a black woman in Chicago. Yeah. Incredible. But you, you fasted for, to, you know, until peace was attained or there were different missions. So was prayer part of the ritual of fasting for you or? I didn't. No, I just, I just said I wasn't going to eat no more solid food to the war in Vietnam. Was, I didn't know it was going to take two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hurry up, get it over. <laughs> What was the first thing you ate? Huh? What was the first thing you oh, ate? I don't remember that. No? Mm -hmm. Because it's part of the sacrifice? No, I do so many fasts. Mm -hmm. I do so many fasts. As long as I've gone on water, it's 180 days. The long on fruit juice is two and a half years. The long as I've gone on nothing, it's like uh, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you start seeing things happen, you know. Like what? If I'm in this building here, mm. and there's a circuit that's bad, mm. it might not get the building on fire for 30 years, but to protect me, it blows it out immediately. Mm. Okay, just <laughs> everything go. Mm. That's, that's fast, that's the universe. Because you're, now you're in sync with a different level of energy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But but are you know so, but so it's very simple ways to tap into that energy. 
Huh. There's, it's, uh, there are simple ways to tap into that energy, that spiritual power. Yeah. But put fasting is the, is the way. I'm sure other cultures got different other prayers to do. And so when you know what I know, I knew a woman named Mother Gibson, um, Chicago. If you went to the Hilton Hotel today and she's still alive and killed everybody in here, if I called her for the police, you never do a day in jail. Mm. You know. Now, brother, that's good to use it that way or not. I would assume it's not. Mm -hmm. You know. But those people who do that, they can't charge you. Because mm -hmm. that means Queen Elizabeth could afford you, but poor folks couldn't. But the rich folks will give. She kept a half a billion million dollars under her bed. Because mm -hmm. the people that have it. Um, I carried John Lennon by there when the government wouldn't let him in the, the country. And she said, Mother, take care of it. But see, you also don't understand how they talk. She said, Yeah, Mother, take care of it, but you make sure you want to live here? She said, Yes, because if you come here, you never better leave. Now, I didn't know she was talking about he'd be killed. Mm. But see, that's they talk, you know. And, uh, but at, the more you fast, you pick up other things. I remember me and John Lennon got real good friends. I said, uh, who are you? Do you know who you are? I asked him. He says, no, but why did you? I said, poor little ignorant redneck cracker like you out of that part of Britain ain't never made it big. How'd you do it? He said, that whole thing was CIA and British intelligence. He said all our songs was to turn white children into drugs. He said, you know how high you got to be to see a yellow submarine? <laughs> hey Jude, that's about Harold. Mm -hmm. What's the thing, LS something and, mm -hmm. you know, y'all know the word? You LS see in the sky with diamonds. Yeah, that's LSD, it spells LSD. Mm -hmm. And when they came over here for the Ed Sullivan show and them 200,000 white women was waiting to cheer, mm -hmm. all that was a trick. Well, it was a game, you know. And, and then as he spent money to do things, his thing changed. That's why the rest of them stayed the same. But his thing changed. I mean, he was... His consciousness. Oh, oh Jesus, did it ever. Mm -hmm. oh, talk, yeah. talk about him. I mean, I know you... Huh? Talk about him. I know you helped him. You spent a lot of time together. No, he... I, I, I don't listen to music. No, I don't want, I want to hear blues for about some negative shit. My baby done left me. I'm 12 years old, ain't even, ain't even had sex, and I'm singing about negative stuff. You know, how'd you learn your ABCs? You kept repeating it. And so somebody was calling me that I knew and trusted, and they said, man, John and Yoko Lennon is in, Amsterdam, drugged out in a cave. I didn't know caves is like palaces. Mm. So I went over and put them on formula. In 24 hours, it was clean. Now, I didn't know till 10 years later when a professor at uh, San Diego State had the rights from Yoko to do a, a book on his tapes. And he called me, he said, man, I'm reading these tapes. And, and Yoko and John said, when you, uh, when you came to Amsterdam and cleaned them out, they never went back into drugs again. I said, I didn't know that. I thought they had, you know. And then the last time somebody called me, if you punch up uh, uh, the last book that came out two years ago called the, uh, the Gospel According to the Beatles. And so when this guy bought the tapes, and I'd him, been dead 10 years, he said, you know, we're looking through these tapes. And there's an interview somebody was doing with him and asked him when did he, uh, <clears throat> well, how did he get the idea to write uh, Imagine? He said, I didn't. Dick Gregory wrote it. So you see it in there. Okay, I see the book. Yeah, um, Steve Turner. 
just just punching there the, 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 what John Lennon said about Dick Gregory mm -hmm. and the uh, and imagine. Mm -hmm. So when the white boy told me that, I said, "Well, you want to send a plane by the interview? You don't need to send a plane by. If you don't, if you don't believe that white boy, well, I'm gonna waste my time thinking you're gonna believe me. If he said it, then then I'm, I'm not gonna talk to you." So then they was getting ready to write it, and he said, well, just can I ask you a question? I said, just yeah, get in the black churches and, and let him listen to the, the humming and the, the vibrations and the, and the sounds. And then we wrote it. And I didn't even know it's the number one selling record in the history of the planet. We sit here now, it sells 2.5 million records a day. So he said, about royalty, what royalty? That's my friend. Hmm? My mama don't get no royalties for cooking or or giving me titty milk, you know, that's a game. Why do you think he died? Huh? Why do you think he... He was killed by the government. The next day at noon, he was going to hold a press conference and, and give 10% of all his money to the peace movement. And at that time, his money was worth like, like 200 million, so now he's worth billions. Oh, I found it. Um, so the quote is, Dick Gregory gave Yoko and me a little kind of prayer book, a little kind of prayer book. And it is in the Christian idiom, but you can apply it anywhere. It is a concept of positive prayer. If you want to get a car, get the car keys. Get the it. keys, yeah. Imagine is saying that. If you can imagine a world of peace with no denominations of religion, not without religion, but without this, my God is bigger than your God thing, then it can be true. It's just like planting corn. <laughs> if you want some corn, you plant a seed. 